Julius Brents came on the scene in 2018 as a true freshman, made an impact uh, in the Iowa secondary. He was a four-star player coming out of high school, redshirted last year in 2019, but he can be an important piece of the Iowa secondary in the Iowa defense in 2020. So he's 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 long arms. He's got a really nice frame. There's a lot to like about his game. On this play in particular here at Minnesota in 2018, uh, he's at the bottom of the screen. I'll use my cursor here. Jake Gervas is the single high safety here in the middle of the field. It's a different look than we're used to seeing from the Iowa defense because they play more two high safety looks with each safety playing a half of the field. On this play in particular, Tyler Johnson of Minnesota, he's going to uh, run a go route against Julius here. Being in the off position here, uh, Brents is able to make a quarter turn, see the quarterback, and he's going to be able to turn and run. And he's going to look, lean, find the football, make a play, high point it, and intercept it. And being in this off position, it doesn't allow Johnson to get on top of him and stack. And I've talked in past videos about uh, stacking and holding that red line. And when you stack and hold the red line, it gives your quarterback a little bit more room to air with their throw to the inside or to the outside. That red line's that imaginary line from the hash to the out of bounds line. And this play is going to be, or this throw is going to be a little bit outside the numbers here. And Julius is going to make a really good play on it. We're going to see him look. He sees the quarterback. He went to that quarter turn. He's going to feel that wide receiver, make a play, interception. Don't be static on defense. Show your opponent one look, change into another. That's what Iowa does here. Right before the snap, it looks like Iowa's in a single high safety look with Geno Stone in the middle of the field. But then Jack Kerner comes out and plays this deep half. Geno bumps over, plays this deep half. Iowa's in their cover two, so Hankins comes out this way. Then we'll have Colbert that comes out here to this area, and he'll play anything that would be like a slant coming in or play on a, like a five-yard out route, or if the running back came out, he would drive on that. So counting wide receivers outside in, here's one strong, two strong because they're to the side of the back. And then you got one weak, two weak. And now to the top of the screen, there's no flat threat for a swing pass. And... Uh, this wide receiver goes vertically, so Dane Belton carries him. Riley Moss gets the interception. He disrupts uh, the release a little bit, but then carries number one outside. Riley comes off, makes a play on the ball. It's an interception. Really good stuff here by the Iowa defense on the Matt Hankins interception. Great call by Phil Parker. They show one look and then change it right before the snap, and I think that contributes to Cone throwing the interception. Right now, they have all 11 guys at or near the line of scrimmage, so it gives Cone the idea that it might be cover zero, and cover zero, you have no high safeties. And then it might look like it's a double A-gap pressure with Colbert and Doyle here in those A-gaps. But Iowa changes that, they bail those linebackers out and then they just go play cover two right before the snap and so you have Moss coming out here playing you know um, just kind of this outside area then you have uh, Dane Belton playing the flat Geno Bales to the deep half and then you got Dylan Doyle who's playing the low hole here and then you have uh, Colbert matching uh, the tight end here and then you have Kerner coming to play the deep half and then you have uh, Hankins coming out here, but Hankins traps this and gets the interception. And when you're counting receivers, you count outside in. So this is one, this is two, this is one, this is two. This is the strong side because the running backs to that side. So Hankins, he's going to try to disrupt the release here, and then he's going to read two to one. So his responsibility is to drive on anything coming out of number two and to get any kind of depth to carry one, this receiver, to Kerner. But you see that Cone's trying to get the ball out quickly, so Hankins, his eyes are in right here to number two. And we'll see that playing the interception. He tries to disrupt the release. Now he comes, plays the out route.